Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro, also known as Vayu and Bhima. Now today we are talking about yet another custom ROM making its transition to Android 12. Although this is an unofficial build, but I've used it since last evening. I have the benchmarks and I thought I should share it with you guys. So before we get into the initial impressions of Octavio S3.0 for the Poco X3 Pro, if you like watching custom ROM stuff every single day and you really enjoy flashing your phone, I would highly recommend you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell icon because we upload every single day and you're gonna love the content we create. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people and you need help as well, well, you can join us on Telegram because we have very kind and helpful people, more than thousand of them on Telegram. We are also present on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, so join us there. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. So let's see what we have here. Octavio OS, unofficial ROM, OSS S YU Bhima, Octavio OS version 3.0, Android 12, updated on the 5th of November, 2021. You have the download, you have the source change log, screenshots, and you have support. Now under notes, it does say that this is an initial build, which is vanilla, you don't have a GApps variant. So if you're flashing this, you will have to flash Flame GApps, you know, separately. Safety net passes out of the box, so that is a good thing. And suggested firmware is of course 12.0.4, so you won't have any breaking issues. Now, if you talk about the source change log, it is sort of significant over here. Now it does say added Monet implementation from put on ASP, redesigned settings homepage, added user card homepage, introduced greeter, insulter, basically enabled two button navigation bar, three finger screenshot, introduced pixel prop utilities, enabled themed icons, added overlay. So Google apps are following Monet too. That is good. Reduced screenshot, dismiss delay time, enabled one hand mode by default, swipe on nav bar. That is good. Added minimum and maximum refresh rate options. Added double tap to sleep in Octavi launcher. Enabled mic and camera toggle tiles. Enabled Android 12 beta features. Ripple on, charge and unlock. Added overlays to make power menu more consistent with UI. Something else that I might have forgot. Note, features will be added from next release with Octavi Lab add-on. Then no spam for it. Right. So this changelog clearly states that Octavi Lab feature, that is the customization and stuff, is still not added to this particular build because this is an initial release. And that's absolutely fine. That is the suit all the custom ROMs for Android 12 are following, right? Now let's go to the home screen. Now the moment you go to the home screen, you will see that you have a very, very basic, clean Android pixel-esque look. You just have the icons at the bottom, a very, very clean wallpaper from the top to bottom. You have the quick tiles. You have the power menu over here, as you can see. I don't see the advanced restart option. So what basically happens is the moment you click the restart button, the phone would directly restart. In some ROMs, what happens is you do have the option of clicking on restart and then it will ask you if you want to restart the system, restart the UI, you want to restart into recovery or you want to restart into the bootloader. Let's wait for the phone to boot up real quick. And meanwhile, let's also have a look at the boot animation over here. It's the same old Octavio S boot animation. And as you can see, the boot time is really, really quick. Now to the left, of course, you do have Google Feed, which works like a charm. The phone has just started up, so ignore the slight stutter that you see there. But once the phone is up and running, as you can see, we are running in always 120 Hertz mode because I always prefer max smoothness and fluidity. That is what we are looking for. So as you can see over here, the smoothness of Google Feed is just next level. Although there are some slight stutters and jitters here and there, which is of course expected from a beta build or an initial release for Android 12 version of Octavio OS. Now if you press and hold over here, you will see you have home settings, widgets and wallpaper styles. So first let's go to home settings. As you can see, very few customization options over here. Moving on, if you go to widgets, you do have your standard Android 12 widget. The S clock is not visible. We can activate that later. Everybody knows how. And if you press and hold, you go to wallpaper and style in which you have themed icons beta. If you go to change wallpapers, you do have things like live wallpaper and stuff like that. So say if you select stepping stones, so you don't really have many wallpaper choices there and that live wallpaper for some reason did not get implemented. That's fine. This is a first build that we are talking about. If you swipe from the top to bottom, you will see that you have the usual Android 12 tiles present over here along with the screen recorder and it allows you to record internal and external audio. Now, what is really, really important is when you start the screen recording, 
does does it lag or not right let's have a look so far i don't think i can observe any lag at all the ui is smooth fluid this particular i don't know if you guys can notice this or not but when you open settings from here there is this jitter or stutter whatever you want to call it because if you go from here see how quickly and smoothly settings opens up right so let's stop the screen recording here there you go it's processing now let's go ahead and open it with google photos I think for some reason it's not playing the, yeah. So the external audio and the internal audio is working absolutely fine. The screen record is pretty smooth and pretty fluid. So no problems there at all. Now talking about the camera application, it comes with a very, very basic camera application as you can see over here. So nothing to write home about. You can go ahead and install a Gcam of your choice. And this ROM absolutely boots without any bloatware. The fact that this is a vanilla build and you have to flash G apps and I flashed the Android 12 basic G apps version. You just get the Play Store and very minimal Google services, which makes the ROM boot really, really fast and it works really, really smooth. So if you go to the multitasking menu, you will see that at the bottom, these options are missing. These are very, very, you know, early builds, which don't really have a lot of features and functions, right? So if you click over here, you just have app info. You don't even have split screen multitasking. Okay, you have split screen multitasking, but apart from that, no additional options like screenshot or you know stuff like that is not present now let's go to settings over here and let's go to about let's go to the android version if you keep tapping on it you will have your android 12 easter egg just like every other rom now if you see over here it does say this is octavius version 3.0 only performance is the maintainer October security patch and the kernel that they're using is the Mochi kernel. So I'm pretty sure they will make improvements, add features to this build really, really soon. Now, moving on, you do have this particular settings menu laid out in a very, very Octavi style. So in system, you just have gestures, which is important and swipe to screenshot absolutely works fine. There is no problem at all. Even if you go for an extended screenshot, you have this magnifying action and it works absolutely okay right now moving on if you go to network and internet you have wi-fi hotspot vpn and all those features are working fine connected devices location apps notifications under battery you do have the thermal profiles feature in which you can select benchmark and other things now one thing that i noticed over here is slightly buggy is that i had changed this to benchmark but i don't know by default how it is going back to default so that is something that might be buggy. Talking about the battery usage over here, we had screen usage for more than one hour, as you can see, and the phone has been on battery for two hours and it has lost some battery. So the battery life is decent. It is okay. It is not, you know, extremely amazing and stuff like that. So the charging and the battery life are still something which is a work in progress and it should get better with time. Now, one more important thing that is missing over here is if you go to security, you don't see the pixel imprint or the fingerprint scanner option. So fingerprint scanner, face unlock, all of those are missing. So, you know, this clearly is a very, very early build, but the point of this video is to let you guys know that Octavia OS is also coming up with Android 12. And let's talk about other important things. For example, let's talk about safety net over here. There you go. Safety net passes by default. And if you go to DRM info, you do have Widewine L1. Now let's talk about the CPU throttle test over here real quick. Now, as you can see, CPU throttled to 92% of its max performance and the average performance was 178, 162 GIPS. So pretty decent score there. After CPU throttle test, let's talk about Antutu real quick. 592, 834. For some reason, Geekbench was not completing on this particular ROM. So I'm hoping in the next build in which they are going to add features, like they add things like fingerprint because these are absolutely basic requirements to use a phone as a daily driver. But as a whole, this ROM, apart from missing important features, I've not had any bugs, crashes or any random heating and stuff like that. So Octavio OS, the first version is very, very vanilla, no new features, nothing. And even some basic features are missing. Wait for these guys to make an update. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.